Hello learners, this is Easy Engineering. Today we're going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about the laws of motion. Have you ever heard of the three laws of motion? Here is a quick history about the three laws. The laws of motion are the relationship between the forces acting on the body and the motion of the body. These laws were first formulated by an English physicist, Sir Isaac Newton. These three laws were published in his book, Principia, in 1687. Now that we know the history of the laws of motion, let us tackle them one by one. Newton's first law is known as the law of inertia. The law of inertia was first formulated by Galileo Galilei for horizontal motion on Earth and was later generalized by Rene Descartes. So what is inertia? Basically, it is an object's tendency to keep doing what it's doing. The first law is stated as an object in motion will remain in motion and an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by a force. And what does that mean? It means in order to change the way an object moves, a net force must be present. The most important thing to know about the first law is mass. You see, the more the object has mass, it would be harder to apply force to the object with more mass and it would be hard to stop once it starts moving. To understand this, let us have an example. Let's say you have two balls of the same size but different masses, like a plastic ball and a bowling ball. Among the two balls, the bowling ball is going to be harder to move and to stop. It has more inertia because it has more mass. Now, on his second law, we're going to talk about the importance of the net force. Newton's second law talks about the changes that a force can produce on the motion of a body. It states that the time rate of change of the momentum of a body is equal in both magnitude and direction to the force imposed on it. For a body whose mass is constant, it can be written in the form of F equals ma, where F is the force and A is the acceleration. Both are vector quantities. Now let's talk about when an object accelerates. When the forces are in balance, it means that the object is accelerating. The most common cause of an object to move is because of the gravitational force. When an object falls downward, it is accelerating downward at a rate of 9.81 meters per second squared. In our formula, it is F equals ma. The force acting on the falling object is gravity, which means that the formula becomes F equals mg, where g is the gravitational force. Okay, and among those forces, this forms tends to be present at all times. This force will be discussed through Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that when two bodies interact, they apply forces to one another that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. The third law is also known as the third law of action and reaction. What does that mean? It means that when you apply force on something, it gives an equal amount of reaction force. Say you have a skateboard, once you press your feet against the floor, the floor will have an equal amount of force to your feet. That is why you can move. That equal amount of force acting upon you is called as the normal force. The normal force is a force perpendicular to whatever surfaces your object is resting on. The normal force is unlike other forces since this kind of force can change its magnitude. What does that mean? Let's say that you have a piece of paper and a penny. You hold the paper on the air and place a penny on it. The penny applies a force on the paper and the paper applies an equal amount of force. Now you add another penny on top of the paper. The two pennies applied a force on the paper and the paper also applied force on the two pennies which means that the normal force is doubled. And then you keep on adding pennies to the paper until such time there are too many pennies which cause the paper to tear. That's what happens when the normal force cannot match the force pushing against it. And that's it. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.